Well, we're out today here with a CVA Hunter 44 mag, as the title suggested. Um, just picked this up a little while ago. I only got 30 rounds through it. Just been running a little bit of 180 grain bullets. Didn't shoot all that well, but the uh, 240 grain bullets look looked like they had some potential. So I put together a little ladder test with them uh, using H110 powder, pretty standard powder. Uh, the data says that you know it's getting the best velocity out of any of them. So we're just gonna run with that. I loaded 20 just like I had before. Just uh, started now at 23.1 grains, and then we're stepping it up to 23 and a half grains, and then 23.7. And then I also picked up some 300 grain XTPs. I just loaded 10 all the same, 18.6. So right in the middle, you know, I'm not, not pushing max charge with any of these. We're just gonna get a rough idea, see how this little gun shoots. So got a target down there at 50 yards. I'm gonna go ahead and take a few shots. Got a chronograph set up. So we'll see how it goes here. All right, so I'm just starting off with the uh, 23.1 grain charge. I'm gonna go ahead and take three shot group here. Seventeen fifty-seven. Ah, I flinched on that one. We'll do one more just because I knew I pulled it. 1761 on that one. Not bad shooting, shooting as well as I can hold it. So 1755 on that velocity, that's pretty decent, but we're uh, gonna let the gun cool off for a second. We'll step it right up to the 23.5 green charge. Just check that group out, you know, not too bad for a pistol caliber rifle. So, uh, I mean, I'm not, I'm not out to get like bench rest type accuracy out of this gun anyway. I mean, a 44 mag, uh, I, I wouldn't feel safe shooting more than 150 yards on a deer with it anyhow. So you don't really need the full blown accuracy. Also, I noticed when I was reloading for these bullets, the one, 240 grain XTPs, the weights on the bullets were very inconsistent. Uh, Starline brass, also not very consistent weight-wise. I was getting a lot of 114s all the way up to 116. So, I mean, I didn't re get real crazy about uh, sorting all, way sorting everything, but uh, other than the powder charges, the powder charges were coming out very consistently out of my powder measure with that H110 powder. So it's been a really easy cartridge to load for. Anyway, I'm just gonna shut up and shoot. We're moving up to the 23 and a half grain powder charge. Let's see what we do here. 1810 on that one so definitely seeing them the inconsistency in the brass and the bolts themselves you know I'm not expecting r real low standard deviations here but uh, what was that four shots I'll go ahead and launch this fifth one all right gotta let this thing cool down again all right, folks, so we're back. Had to let this gun cool down for a good 20 minutes or so. Uh, definitely a hot day out. Uh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and shoot uh, the 300 grain bolts with 18.6 uh, grains H110. So we'll see how they shoot. I, From what I heard, the CVA tends to shoot the 300 grainers more accurately. However, I didn't do my homework, I finally crunch the numbers on some of the velocities and turns out the 240 grain is a better terminal performer just because more velocity, more energy, actually the 300 grainer just doesn't really keep up. But nonetheless, I got 50 of them, so might as well try them out, try to get a tight group with them. Huh, 
Same hole. It's got a pretty good little thump to them, they do. That's 1433 on the velocity. Ha! Huh. Yeah, these things are pretty darn accurate. 1423. Well, we're out at it again. I uh, went ahead and loaded 30 more of these 300 grainers. I still got a couple 240 grainers left. Probably leave those for hunting. But uh, we got some targets down there 100 yards. I got the camera set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and take a few whacks with these 300 grainers. See what they do. I'm just going to go for the big, big plate. See where this thing hits. Maybe make an adjustment. Hit to the right. It might have been me pulling it, but then again, I also just cleaned this thing. Let's launch another one down there. Hits with authority. Yeah, a little high to the right. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it down. I brought it down three minutes. See what that does. Very hot out today too. This thing might start shooting better though once I get it followed up again. All right, one more shot on the plate. Pretty much hit right where I was aiming. Maybe a tiny bit low. I'll have to check it out through my bushnells here. Yeah, it looks pretty good from here. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and why don't we bust one of them two liters up there? Good. All right, so I'm gonna go for that uh, two liter up there, green one. Uh, probably just hold right on and should be able to get it. Oh yeah, dusted it right off there. How about that? Uh, about that little plate there, up a little higher. Oh man, took it right out. <laughs> Guess we won't be shooting that again. I got a cinder block right there under the chain. I'm gonna try to get that. Uh, it's like right behind the chain. Uh, boy, I don't wanna shoot your chain though. We should be sighted in good enough. Let's see, let's try it. Oh yeah, dusted it. Oh man. Makes a nice little pop when it goes up, when it hits. I like this 44, man. It's Fun little gun to shoot. Lots of power, not a whole lot of recoil. A lot of fun. Let's see if we can take that stump down that my two liter was sitting on. Oh yeah, knocked it right over. 44 mag destroys all. Actually, I can see that popper, the other cameras on it. Let me give that a try. I'll be shooting right through some brush. Oh yeah, got him. Just a little low and to the right. Oh, that's too much fun. It's too bad these 44 mags ain't free. That's all I know. They're not too bad to load for. The 300 grain bullets are kind of pricey. They're like, uh, I, want, I want to say about 25 for 50, so about 50 cents a bullet. Uh, the 240 grain, not bad at all. These are roughly 25-ish for 100, so not bad. I got to get some more of these. I'm just holding on to them for woodchuck. Actually, I'm going to dial the scope back to 12, so that's where these were sighted in at. We'll just go ahead and see where it lands on the plate. I'm going to aim right at that lower bullet hole. Oh, 
right there smacked it i mean a little bit high or a little low i can't tell which is which but definitely pretty happy with this little rifle man it's a lot of fun it says cheap to load uh, my powder measure works great with that h110 so that's really convenient be able to measure out the powder it doesn't i don't have to be as uh as uh, stringent on it as i do with stick powder so just a lot of fun i think this would be a great gun for somebody's hunting you know ohio states where they require straight walled cartridge for their hunting season 44 mag will definitely get the job done there are some bigger ones out there but I don't know the way this thing was rocking those plates and stuff out there. Hell, I'd be comfortable taking a deer 150 yards with this thing, no problem. The ballistics are actually pretty impressive out of a 22 inch barrel. I'm getting right in the neighborhood of 1,700 feet per second. Out of these 240 grainers, getting 1,400 feet per second out of the 300 grainers. So either one would probably work. Personally, I would go with the lighter end, get a little, you get more energy just because there's more speed so that is what it is a lot of fun to shoot hope you guys enjoyed the video Put a wallop on him. Old 44 mag did the trick. First chuck down with my CVA hunter. Me and Anthony were just walking up the edge of this field. We've seen him run into his hole. We've had to stand around here for a couple minutes. But sure enough, he came out. It's a nice sized one too, so let's go check him out. Yes, sir. That's nice, that's a nice looking woodchuck. Make sure, man. Woodchucks go down pretty hard sometimes. Uh it's a big one. Yeah, he's heavy. He is big. Right here's your exit. Oh yeah. Yeah, I went for that shoulder shot just because he kept moving around. I probably would have went for the head, but hey, you can see the 240 grain bullet, didn't it? It's not explosive by any means. It's definitely more meant for penetration, but well, it was only 40 yards maybe from where I shot. So close enough we didn't have to range it. Yeah, actually I can range it from right here. Uh, yeah, 67 yards. So see a deer taking off. Pretty happy though. I've been wanting to, I, I filmed my accuracy test video with this earlier, saved us some ammo left over to get her dialed in at 100 yards. Got my first chuck with it, so I'm pretty happy. Takes 44 mag to put one of these big boys down. Look at this sucker. Good God. <laughs> Look at him laying next to the gun. Oh, uh, yeah. Blood laying right here. Big pile of blood. So, right there's your exit. That 240 grain definitely put a wallop on him. Yeah, this is the uh, same spot I took out like five woodchucks in one sitting. They're over by 
by that pole. Well, Garrett and I did the same thing. He pulled up to this little knoll. I ended up having to crawl the rest of the way up. So that way I have my uh, barrel wasn't too low to the ground. I was kind of afraid I was going to hit the ground in front of me. But these woodchucks are none the wiser with this thunderstorm. Didn't hear it's coming. Didn't see us. So let's uh, pack up and get the hell out of here before we get soaked. <laughs>